Hello friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you are back. If you are new, hi, my name's Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. So today's video I'm super excited about because I have, I think like 10? 10 or 11 new stuffed animals that I've DIY'd in some way. Most of them, as you can see, have a clay face and a handful don't. If you are interested in how I DIY my stuffed animals, the non-clay faced ones I have a video on that I can link below or on the screen somewhere, hopefully. But with the clay faced ones, I haven't done a tutorial yet. I also don't really think I need to because honestly this was a trend that happened like a year ago and I'm sure there's like a million tutorials already out there. I just kind of winged it. Um, I had seen some inspiration from I think they're called Unique Art of Steven and I'll link their channel below because really really cool plush ideas um, for the clay face situation and I think they have some tutorials as well but it was just like a super fun new hobby for me to try out. Basically while, while I was taking a little bit of unplanned time off YouTube I was just getting into doing creative stuff and I had wanted to try making clay face plush for a hot minute now but I hadn't tried it yet and while I was looking for something to do with my hands while I watched my beloved new obsession the show Buffy the Vampire Slayer I decided to give a uh, clay face plush a try so I've named all of these guys and I'm hoping to sell the majority of them at like coming markets but if I don't sell them there then I'll probably pop them up on my Etsy I just usually don't like dealing with Etsy because shipping prices can be super high and it makes me have to price things higher than I'd like to to cover the cost of shipping and it's just annoying. But regardless, I do want to show you guys everyone that I've made today and tell you like a little bit about them. I'll talk a little bit about like materials that I used and stuff uh, to hopefully give you inspiration for if you're interested in making this kind of uh, plush, but I won't have a tutorial in this video. But if it's really important to you, um, let me know or I can link some that I think are good below. So let's get on to talking about the plush. I'll just go from this side to this side. Uh, so the first are these fun friends. Most of these are complete, uh, but there's a couple that I'm like, I could add a couple more things to. This is an example of those where I'm like, you are very simple for now, and I'd like to add maybe a couple more details to you, but we shall see in the future. Their names are Lunette and Wo, like W-O-E, and they were made from a pair of mint green Thai rabbits that I found at the Christian thrift store. I sewed them together and I made a little eye patch so it's kind of like inspired by like gothic lolita styles for Lunette and for Wo I added a bunch of extra button eyes to their heads so they have this kind of spidery look. I gave them just a plain black ribbon around their neck and they have stitches with just black embroidery thread down their tummy. I will also make them nicer looking tags eventually. Oh, and I added some ear piercings to them. Um, I'll probably add some more ear jewelry and I'll show you guys some more of those when we get to them. But for now, that's Lunette and Will. I think they turned out really cute. I always like buddy plush. I think they're a lot of fun to work with. Now, this is the first one that I ever made. So they're probably maybe a little rougher looking than the others, but this is Candy. And I do think they're quite cute, even though if you like look up close, there's definitely like some imperfections that I think I evened out a little bit, but they have a really fun clown hat. Most of my guys have a clown hat because I was just in a really clowny mood while I was making most of these, but it's just a piece of cardboard with fabric around it. Most of the fabric I get from baby clothes because I find them at the thrift store for really cheap and really abundant quantities. I added a purple pom-pom on top and gave them a little glittery star that's like holographic when you look at it in different lights. And then I just hot glued a bunch of pom-poms around the brim of the hat. The face is just made out of polymer clay that I poked holes in and then stitched around with some embroidery thread and before I sew on the face I just cut off the nose and take out the eyes and take out anything that's like really big and bulky in the face. I used some blue paint to give them a little bit of extra clown paint on their face and they're supposed to have like a little heart shaped nose and this is just a wooden heart that I painted pink. Uh, their eyes, it's a piece of watercolor paper with some blue and pink paint on it that I then put a bunch of glitter in and then the holographic star and moon that matches their so they have this very like glassy-eyed, almost sad clown look, which is totally what I was going for, and I think they look very cute. They have a little bow around their neck with a little plastic star bead and a frilly clown collar that has a pearl string going all around it, but you can't really see the pearls because of the bow. I believe this is like a Build-A-Bear body. And it's super cute. It's covered in hearts, which I think is absolutely adorable. And I stitched this felt heart onto their chest to give them an extra like little 
lovesick kind of look because I, I feel like they look like a lovesick clown and I just really like that aesthetic. And then all their little cuffs are mismatched. I made them all out of gathered lace, like, you know, that I folded over. And pretty much all of the lace was originally from the thrift store since I go to thrift stores that tend to have just bags and bags of this stuff. So for this arm, they have like a pink frill with like a blue ribbon and then a blue ribbon with a pink frill on the other arm. And then on the bottom, they have a purple frill with a white ribbon and a blue frill with a purple-ish ribbon. So it's like kind of mismatched, but not exactly. Um, and I think they look really, really sweet. You know, sad clown. They came with the hearts on their toes. And I might add a couple extra things to candy, like maybe a few earrings, but for now I'm pretty, pretty pleased with them. I think they're, they're quite sweet. And for a first attempt, I feel like they're pretty good, except this this one arm thing keeps falling off. Now, this is one of my favorite ones probably that I made. Their name is Starshine, and they are also a super glassy-eyed one. This is the first one that I started using soft pastels to do more blushing around the face, so I used some red around the eyes and around the muzzle, and some blue pastel around the little star that I made them for their forehead. Their clown paint isn't painted on, it's actual clay that is just sculpted on. And their eyes, Basically, I painted a piece of watercolor paper blue and then cut up a bunch of holographic ribbon and sheets. I have like a little bit still left in here. My little like cat box. Let me see if I can find what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I cut up little pieces of this that I found at the thrift store that's just like gift wrap ribbon and pieces of like shiny holographic paper. I don't know what this stuff is called, but it's like a plasticky, very shiny holographic situation um, and I found it at the dollar store years ago like in university. I've been holding on to it ever since and I just cut up tiny little pieces of it to put into the eyes so they don't really have any pupils or anything just this like super sparkly glassy eyed stare and I think I also just added some regular glitter in there to you know just add extra to the mix. The original bear has this really sweet pastel color all over it with even a couple of white stars mixed into the fur which I think is really sweet. Their hat is just the basic cardboard hat covered in a piece of baby clothes uh, but I added all these different like shiny things down it. Uh, most of these are like little rhinestones from the dollar store. We also have this uh, shiny holographic star from Michaels, and this gem that's really, really pretty that I found at the thrift store, but looks super fancy. They have earrings in one ear. This one is like a little cat gem that I got off a bracelet that I found at the thrift store, a little heart that I found at the thrift store, and this little spider web was a charm that I got online. I think they came with this bow and I originally took it off but then put it back on because I thought it looked really cute. The star on their palm is pink but it glows in the dark and when it's glow in the dark it's like very greenish yellow, you know, like the basic glow in the dark color. And I made them a bunch of like friendship bracelet kind of things to go around each arm. And yeah, like I said, these tags aren't going to stay on forever. I'm going to make cuter ones. But it's just for the purpose of this video so I remember everyone's name. And then down the center of their belly, since they had like a pretty obvious seam, I thought it would be cute to do like a string of pearls down the seam. I also forgot to mention that I did a string of pearls around their faceplate as well and I think it makes them look really ethereal and sweet. This foot came with the blue hearts on it already. I don't love them and I might cover them up because they're kind of garish compared to the rest of it but we'll see in the future. And I added a string of pearls around each foot and then added just some little rhinestones on this as like kind of toe beans almost and I think they look really really sweet. Starshine Clown is one of my favorites. I, their full name is Starshine Clown. Um, but yes, basically with all of these you can add the clown or clown to the end of their name and it makes sense for the most part because most of them, um, I, I, I feel like they live in a little teddy bear circus together and they make um, creepy cute little pastel skits um, and perform magic tricks. So that is my head canon for why I made like 11 little clown things. Haha! -ha. Next, this one is technically not a clown. This is Prince Opal. And Prince Opal is one of my other favorites. I, after making Starshine Clown, I was really, really into that glassy eyed look and I decided to repeat it again. One of the issues with this was that um, before their eyes were quite pink and to try to increase the shiny factor over their eye I decided to add a coat of this 
very holographic nail polish that I found at the thrift store and it ended up turning their eyes super yellow but I kind of leaned into that and gave them a yellow-ish opaly belly button gem this I found on a necklace at the thrift store and tried to just be like okay it's intentionally yellow like screw it whatever I made them the tiniest hat I think uh, because their ears were so big and like a regular sized hat was getting in the way so I thought if they had like a comically small hat that would work and I just added some little faux pearls down the front of it from like smallest to largest and a string of fake pearls around the edge then in this year I gave them this little like I got this off a necklace, but it's a little clear ball that has all these little confetti pieces in it. Then this little cat on the moon that I got online, and this earring that is probably fake opalite or opal of some sort and some pink crystal. I found that at the thrift store. And then in the other ear, I gave them this little cross charm that's just plastic, and I got it at Michael's when I was like, a spooky teenager. <laughs> I also wanted to do more of the blushing on this guy with uh, pastels so I did blue all around the outside of the faceplate and pink on the nose and muzzle. I also sculpted on the clown paint again and added a little bit of blushing to that as well which I think is kind of a nice touch. Their frill is this super holographic-y piece of lace that I found at the thrift store and I gave them friendship bracelets that I made while watching Buffy with Cage, which was super fun, and they're all very like pastel. And then their wand is a Christmas ornament that I just sewed, like, the loop where the little hook was in. I took the hook out and then just sewed it to their hand so it looks like a wand or a unicorn horn or something of the sort. And yeah, like I mentioned, the belly button is a fake opal off a thrift store necklace, and the toes and the feet have been lined again with some bluish pearls. I think they're really really cute. Uh, bunnies are super fun and they give me the vibe of being like a jester prince. Uh, so Prince Opal is their name even though they have like the little clown hat. They're, they have a very like regal feel to them in my opinion and Opal obviously because of the eye mistake and the belly button not mistake. Trying to pretend it was intentional. All right next this guy. This is Lolly full name Lollipop and I tried kind of a glazed eyed look where I put the shimmery parts over top of the pupil design that I did underneath and the pupil design was just um like a sparkle kind of shape. I wanted to make like a kind of angry looking bear because I think when things are like small and cute but also angry it makes them like extra cute so that was what I was trying to achieve with like these little eyebrows that are like a little slanted. Plus I've always liked teeny tiny eyebrows and for the longest time I've always wanted to chop like the bits of my eyebrows off so I can have teeny tiny eyebrows but I'm not brave enough to do it yet so for now I'll just do it to my stuffed animals and my dolls and stuff. Hat with trans colors. I tried to use a lot of trans colors for these guys because it's just a color scheme that I naturally gravitate towards and why not uh, spread the trans agenda in the world. Their hat has basically like a little bracelet made out of these bubbly beads all around it as like the pom-poms for the bottom because I was experimenting with like different things to put around the bottoms like pearls or beads or like a bracelet or whatever so I made a little pastel bead bracelet to to add to them. Um, I painted on little star freckles which is really cute in my opinion and this one I made before I knew about the blushing with the pastel so that's why they just have like a plain face without without that situation except not really plain because I added like acrylic paint with the sparkles. The bluish and pink looks a little bit more blue on camera than it does in real life. I'd say it's a little more teal, but whatever. I gave them like a little frilly collar with some big pom-poms and some little pom-poms, so there's like a little bit of variety there. And I gave them this little like sequin butterfly on their belly button. So it kind of looks like a belly button, but it also kind of looks like a butterfly just landed there. And then some more friendship bracelets, of course. I just think they add to it. And I gave them some little like feet frillies but no arm frillies. But I think they're really cute. Lollipop's a good one. Oops, sorry I lost your hat. Ta -da! Yeah, very fun. All right, let's go on to the next one. And I promise they're not all pastel. There's like three that are kind of spooky, so if that's what you're holding out for, it's coming. <laughs> but another pastel one. This is Snoot and Tatters. Snoot, Tatters. And I may or may not do a little bit more to Tatters because so far I haven't done anything to them. Uh, but I think it might be fun to give them their own little faceplate. Might just be kind of weird on this small of a scale, but we'll experiment. This one was a lot of fun to make. I wanted to give like kind of 
a pastel spooky clown. I'm sort of almost Twilight inspired is what's coming to mind now, but I used like a mint green fabric for their hat and then put a piece of spiderweb lace over it. Um, in their forehead I carved a spiderweb and then added some blue blushing all around their faceplate and the spiderweb itself. Their eyes have a spiderweb and a skull in them and these are actually nail stickers. You can kind of like see their like where the nail sticker starts and where I just colored in black around the end around the edges of the eyes but with how large their eyes are compared to their face they just give me this like very like big-eyed seal look and I think it's very sweet and endearing they have like a tiny button nose and a little blue mouth and they're just very sweet I gave them a little mint green collar and little mint green cuffs and on their belly they have a felt ghost and I haven't done much with tatters, but perhaps in the future we shall. Snoot and tatters are ones that we shall see. They might have a little bit more going on in the future, but sometimes simplicity is better. I just, I usually like to pile on more and more things like bracelets and earrings and this and that and safety pins and do chains and do everything, you know? But regardless. Next we have another somewhat simple one. This is hollow. Another one that I wanted to make like a little bit angry looking. I had a bunch of googly eyes that I had found at the thrift store so I thought that would be fun to do on the hat because you know they move around and you know googly eyes are always remind me of like spooky child monsters. Like if you're designing a monster as a kid like googly eyes tend to go good with that. Their eyes are super spacey. I used like blue and green giant pieces of glitter for the most part that are like round but and this is one that I used a lot of green and dark blue blushing around the eyes around the mouth and I gave them like little circle cheeks which I think is super fun their belly has a skull on it because I thought it would be like just super fun if they were like a little angry and they have like a little skull and they're like very cute and tough but they're also just like pastel baby blue with like a little birthday hat on so it's all very endearing at least that was the vibe I was going for and then in this year I added a couple of safety pins and in this year as well, just kind of in a different design where they're kind of crisscross this way and smallest to largest this way. But that is hollow, a very sweet one. Might get a couple more decoration upgrades as we go forth, uh, but for now I'm pretty happy with them. Next, let's do a non-clay-faced one. Every time I find two stuffed animals that are like pretty similar or exactly similar, I'm like, I have to combine them into one. So this is Phantom and Screech. And they're made out of these little, like, birthstone bears or something. Uh, basically, they have, like, a birthstone gem as their nose, and then on their foot it says what month they are. Uh, but since I switched them out, we just have July on one foot, but ignore that. <laughs> they each have the same fabric for the hat, but on this one I oriented the stripes Pugsley style, and on this one I oriented them Beetlejuice style, if that makes sense. And then this guy gets a black pom-pom, and this guy gets a white one. They're sharing one neck bow, and I pinned a little... A fabric heart to the darker one's chest so it like would stick out a little bit more. Uh, this is one that I'm not sure if I want to keep this simple because every time I kept trying to add more accessories it looked kind of weird. I just added like a little safety pin in the one ear but I even might take that out because I feel like he almost looks cute with just the hats and the bow so perhaps a case of simpler is better. I really like the kind of Frankenstein stitched together monster look. I think it's very sweet and I added some black embroidery floss as like the super prominent thing in the front to give that extra Frankenstein kind of feel. And I think they're really sweet. So that is Phantom and Screech. Okay, now we're on to the spooky ones. This is Sin <laughs> and they're made out of like a like val valentine's kind of rabbit but i turned them into i was this is supposed to look like a goat face but i don't think i achieved that very well and then instead of having one birthday hat i gave them two so it looked kind of like horns also not birthday hat clown hat they're made out of velvet or you know they have a velvet coating and black pom-poms going all around them carved a little upside down star into their forehead and gave them tiny little eyebrows they have little skulls in their eyes that are yellow, which I think is pretty fun, and their eyes are also quite sparkly. These skulls are actually just little nail stickers that I got at the dollar store, and I added just some black blushing around the entire faceplate. In retrospect, I wish I did the eyes like rectangular, oval, kind of goat-shaped, because I believe 
that that would add to the more goat-like look, but you know, it is what it is. I think they're quite cute regardless of not looking quite like a goat. On this ear they have some safety pins and a little skull charm dangling off a chain attached to them as an earring. And on this side they have these grommets that I hope kind of look like stretched ears that I put some jump rings through and then a little silver tooth charm that I got online. They're holding the heart that they came with but I added a bunch of black lace and like black pearls and just all this kind of spookier stuff to it. It has like some chains around both edges of it so it's it's very gothic and spooky and OMG <laughs> Dementia Ravenway is that you? I also gave them what's supposed to almost look like handcuffs or bracelets but yes silver bracelets around their their arms. They've got a red fabric heart that I put lace, black pearls, and a safety pin through just um, attached to their a thigh almost like a tattoo sort of look and I had put a piece of black lace around their leg and secured it with some safety pins. Overall they're quite cute. Might add some more spikes and horns and stuff down the road but even just like this I think Sin is quite sweet and though they don't quite look like a proper animal like I don't know what they're quite supposed to be I think they work <laughs> and I'm happy that they live in the collection for now. This next one is kind of Halloween-y themed. Uh, Cage was saying I should try doing like a Joanna Parker inspired face for one of them, so that was my attempt at that. Uh, Joanna Parker is one of our favorite like Halloween artists, um, and so I made them yellow eyes with like kind of slits so it looked like an owl or a cat or something. Sorry the bell is jingling. I painted their little teeth yellow and gave them, it was supposed to look like a pumpkin face almost, but the freckles gave it a little bit of extra mischief feel and the candy corn hat made it a little Halloween-y. I chose white and yellow pom-poms. I would have added orange in there too to make it extra candy corn, but I didn't actually have those, so white and yellow it is with just a black pom-pom on top. They have a black ribbon around their neck that I tied this jack-o'-lantern bell to. It's like an orange bell with a jack-o'-lantern face punched out of it, and I think it's very, very cool. I also stitched a felt jack-o'-lantern to their belly to extra give that Halloween illusion. And I gave them some friendship bracelets that say trick or treat. I don't know if I mentioned it, but their name is Trick because, you know, spooky little trick guy. He looks very mischievous. I gave them a little spiderweb earring on this ear with a safety pin. And on this arm, he also has a black and orange bracelet. And then on his leg, he has like a little spider Halloween plastic ring. Oh, and eyebrows are just some pumpkin sequins, so I thought that was kind of fun. He's supposed to be like a pumpkin Joanna Parker kind of inspired guy, and I think he turned on out. Uh, plus his treat bracelet is has candy corn colors, so thumbs up for that. And then lastly, this is one that didn't quite work out, but like as a creative person sometimes you're gonna make stuff that doesn't really turn out the way you want it to and you just have to be like okay maybe the next one I make I'll like better so I'll show this to you guys for now but I'm probably gonna remake the faceplate because I like all of it except for the faceplate um I was trying to go for that style of like you know those tattoos of hearts that have like human faces and are crying and they look very dramatic and sad I wanted to go for that like sad clown kind of look uh but it just looks a lot for me anyway um so please don't be too harsh about them but this is calamity and they will probably be sporting a new face soon, but for now this is what they look like. Um, so they have a little red velvet hat with some faux pearls all around them. Their faceplate is heart-shaped and has got pearls all around it with some eyebrows and a teeny tiny mouth and some teardrops that are all painted. They have hearts in their pupils and their eyes are pink. They have false eyelashes glued on to their eyes and their belly is supposed to look like one of those uh, fancy chocolate boxes, you know, the ones with like a million ruffles and lace and fake flowers and all this stuff. So I put like a little coffin in the center and some pearls and white lace and white pearls and uh, red hearts and red felt and all this stuff. The base of the bear has little red love kisses all over it. On their arms they have little clown ruffles that are like white and red that I made out of white lace and red ribbon. And then around their neck I just gave them like a regular little clown ruff. It's a little bit hard to see. And then on one ankle they have this red and white lace ribbon. And then on the other ankle they have just like a pearl kind of bracelet looking thing. Pearl anklet I guess in this case. I was gonna say very very cute but they're kind of a little bit tragic looking and I may or may not remake them. Um, we'll see. It, j it just might not be my aesthetic, maybe it's someone's aesthetic out there, but I just I, I thought I'd grow to at least like it and I don't know that I feel that way yet. So um, yes, Calamity, we will see. 
regardless, that's all of the stuffed animals that I have made so far that I've updated to my collection. Uh, thank you so much for watching till the end. That always means a lot to me. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in my tutorial of how I make like these kind of guys, I do have that on my channel and I'll be linking it below. But if you're looking for a clay face tutorial, trust me, there's a million out there. Just go on YouTube and look up clay face plush. You'll find a million tutorials and they will probably have better tips than I who have just been winging it. Regardless, thank you again for watching. I hope you're having a great day or night or whenever it happens to be. I hope that if you are planning to make your own plush, they turn out amazing and I wish you luck in all your endeavors. Give yourself a big hug for me and that's all I got for now. See you later. Bye.